Hey, you really gonna do that right there? Look, see, this is the life we live right now. Max wants to sit in my lap and lick whatever he wants to lick. Hey, look, they watching you. No, oh, look, on camera. They on the camera. Look, look at the TV. No, look at the camera. Sit, lay down. Lay down if you wanna lay down. I'm trying to work here, buddy. See, this is my working environment. Say hi, Max. No, not to me. All right, 30 seconds of Max. This is what we have as life right now. Thanks, Max, you can leave. This is what we got going on. Hey, what are you barking at? I recently, and the company that I was working with, construction company, we are parted ways. I wish them the best and all of their future success as I am ready to move on to be the free bird that I can be without any restrictions or any micro aggressions or whatever. So it's time now. I've been a, a serial entrepreneur. It's time for me to get my uh, entrepreneur game going the way it deserves to be going and not being put second okay first and foremost i put god first that's what this bracelet right here used to say i am second but i've had it that long where it doesn't say it anymore but it still symbolizes a great deal so going forward background story on me i've been an entrepreneur for decades from candy selling in elementary school to you name it, I've done it. But now my focus is trying to get more people into the construction trades, disadvantaged individuals, whether it be women, minorities, veterans, felons, and our upcoming youth, because they are at a disadvantage because they do not know. So my goal is to um, bring She Get It Done to the forefront, which is a nonprofit. It is under the umbrella of Michael's Mobile LLC, which has um, been in around since 2010. And now we established She Get It Done 2019 she get it done was based because of my need to fill a void that's what it was based off of i put she get it done it was based on i had a alcohol problem i drank a lot due to stresses that came along with the job that i did very stressful environment I coped with alcohol, self-medicated. My PTSD was rampant. Max, that's my PTS stress relief dog. Me, my anxiety guy. So he keeps me grounded. I got him three years ago, and it's been working. It's getting me to those steps where I can do what I need to do. So now, the Amazon truck is outside. Hey, man, did I order something? I don't be remembering if I ordered something. I, I had a bike accident a long time ago, and my memory is great when it wants to be and kaput when it wants to be. So, got to bear with me sometimes. But um, after 13 years of working with one of the major fire protection companies in the industry, um, there's a situation that arose. I had to take um, some mental leave because of stress and anxiety. The doctor doctor uh, prescribed it, let me recommended it, and it was well needed. So I did that. It was the best six weeks that I have had in the last 
three decades, two decades. Oof, it was such a relief. I mean, people ask why did I stay at my job? I stayed at my job because I knew what I was doing. I was great at what I did. It was eight minutes from my home. I had a lot of perks. So that's why I stayed at my job. And it taught me about the business. Construction game, I learned it all. From bidding, submittals, to change orders, to equipment, to transportation, to union strikes, to uh, event emergencies, um, you name it. I mean, fires, insurance claims. I don't know what aspect of the game. I mean, maybe I'm missing something. I mean, design, bill. I mean, what part have I not had my fingers in? Oh, I can't. I can't really recall. But it was a great experience. I learned so much. I met so many people. Within this last year was the phenomenalness. The phenomenal is of the people that I met by actually getting to get out of the office, getting to meet some of the people out here. Yeah, they finally let my black face out of the office. It's a terrorist child, I guess, you know. They're unconscious bias. Yeah, but oh, I'm not biased. We're not biased. Yeah, we all are, but you so biased that you won't even admit it. But I just say this, when we had that conversation, when I walked out of that door, I felt joy, right? <laughs> Real joy, peace. My heart was like free, I mean, People can get me wrong. I don't know what it's like to be a slave. I do know what it's like to be a slave, but I don't know what it's like to be a slave because I felt like I've been a slave for like the last 13 years. But if I'm going back to my people's times, but on my grandma's side, they weren't slaves. So I'm going to have to make up. So I got to be my grand, my dad's granddad, some one of them side. I feel like a free slave. I feel like I didn't got my papers. Hold up. Where are my papers at? They gave me some papers. Did I put it? Oh, here they go. And they gave me these papers that said, we're parting ways. I was happy. I was so happy I left the papers at work. Because <laughs> I really didn't care what the papers said. I truly didn't care what the paper said because I knew it was bullshit. It was anything under the realm, minus maybe three things under anything that can violate EEOC. Y'all been trying to get me. I don't know why, what I've done to y'all. I think I'm just trying to do successful things. I was, but I'm going to take them talents to she get it done and blow that up. Nonprofit because... Hey, who gonna take care of my people if I can't? And when I say my people, I mean the disadvantaged. I mean the, um, the yeah, the disadvantaged <laughs> women, minorities, people with mental dis with disabilities. Uh, I ain't got no felonies. That's one thing I don't got. I don't got that. But and I was once that youth. I am a um, product of college. Went there, been there, done that. That shit was expensive. And I'm still paying on, I'm 41 years old, still paying on schooling that I went to when I was 16 years old. System is fucked up and I don't want too many other people in that type of environment. So that's why we want to get, she get it done on the map. So people can know. There are other opportunities out there besides college. There are. I mean, don't let... Don't let them fool you because you could be like 
what I see these robots that work in these organizations every day that are stuck working because of a debt that they can never get rid of. Yeah, you can't bankrupt student loan debt. They don't tell you that on that paperwork when you sign it. Like, hey, are you positive? You know, they need to have one of those uh, pop-ups that, you know, when you got to close out a window, is that, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure that you are informed on what compounding interest is? You know what that means? Okay. Are you sure that you understand you have to pay this debt no matter what? Okay, let me go back. There are certain situations where you can avoid paying back your debt government civil services certain things but that percentage is i don't know the exact number but i'm going to put it at 0.01 percent okay get their loans forgiven and all that good stuff so i say that's to be saying all that i know i'll be all over the place but oh well i ain't got nothing to do this is my life you don't want to listen don't listen I did something when I was on my medical leave. Didn't know if I was going to do it. But the last minute, get off the flight, woke up. Are you going type of deal? Got up, went. Never signed any paperwork or anything. Just had a little verbal commitment. Yeah, I'll come. I'll do it. Okay. So, with that being said... Part of the reason I'm no longer with my company is because it was discussed between me, the VP, and HR about my website and my business. She get it done. And it said I broke. I, my website was against company policy and direct violation of any course code. Oops, I said the name. Oh, well. Code of Business Conduct and Ethics. Because there were photo, published photos, FLs, com, SA, communals, equipment, marketing materials, and job sites. Hmm. Okay. This, yeah, this is y'all's fishing expedition for, you know, Mind you, oh, that was one. That was for Junior Achievement, the first issue. Then, further, November 13th, I posted. I posted. It says, you posted on She Get It Done Facebook page a picture of you and United Rental Staff. Okay. Yeah. That's United Rental Staff, a plaque from the United Rental Total Control and Innovation Conference. This was captioned, first ever Total Control Performance Award from the world's largest rental company. It was. I am. She did. Got it done. She get it done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can read it however you want. You want to read it like Evonics? Read it like Evonics. First ever total performance award from the world's largest rental company. It didn't say I did. Then it says pound TCIC. Pound United Rentals. Pound AEMP. Pound She Get It Done. Pound Run to That. 2020 is my year. Mm hmm Yeah, I got an award. I got an award. I. I got an award. Yeah. But they say this is both misrepresentation as the award was presented to you. Presented to S.A. Kami Nell. Okay. Well, if that's how y'all want to break all them fine tooth words down to. Break all those videos and audios that I got down. Of y'all talking shit and not doing what y'all's doing and breaking every code, conduct, ethic, anything that the MCOR company has to follow. Period. 
Oh, and y'all said I had a uh, communal shirt on. Okay. I already said y'all paid for it. Y'all told me I can't tag communal and shit. So I don't get it. I'm so lost and confused. My bad that I am ahead of the curve. I mean, I thought I read all of this, the, the policies. Guess what? I have my handbook. Yeah. I thought I did everything in the handbook. But to not get a written down write up after 13 years, this is what you picked to fire me for. Oh my God. My lawyer was so happy. Quick 30%. Get your 30%. Hey, he got my retainer money, and here's your 30%. Get that. Do that, because business code of conduct ethics, section 2.9, conflict of interest, and 2.11, outside employment, affiliations, or activities. Yeah, those are some good paperwork. But back off of that, and they bullshit. Um, she get it done. We got a survey going out. She did a done challenge, trying to get as much information as we can before Con Expo and Women in Construction Week. This information is vital. Now I can go all board. I'm trying to get it out there without thinking anybody. I'm stepping on anybody's toes. I'm trying to do a positive thing. I don't understand it. Why the hate? Why hate? You know, help. I'm trying to teach you guys something. You don't want to see it. Guess what? This is how I feel in the environment that I was working in. I work in construction. Construction, it's a tough cookie, but, hey, pretty much anybody can do it. So, that's going to be my quick rant. I know I went all over the place. I don't know what I was talking about, but guess what? I'll put it all together later. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm free. I am so free. And that piece of paper shit right there was icing on the cake. Like I said, I woke up this morning. I said, I, I can get back into my routine, be my authentic self, who I want to be. It's just a great, great feeling. Shirt all wrinkled. Sorry, I thought I'd try to iron a little bit, but um, authentic self. Palms ten was this morning's read. It was a good read. So, just want to say. Just do you. Do you, boo? Cause trusting in God's timing has gotten me everywhere. Ain't my call. It ain't my call to make. My story has already been written. And I'm just here to do what is destined. <laughs> the haters, they gonna hate. Good. Don't you see me smiling? Hey, that's all you need to know. We doing, we doing good. We be all right. We gonna be all right. All right, Max. Good dog. I'm not worried about it. Thanks.